What's happening YouTube, your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're looking at the D30 by Dinky. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below so go ahead and check that out. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Basically this is a robot vacuum that you can use on your home. Um, we're going to test it out today and see how well it does. This is from Dinky, the D30. Here we go. Let's open this up. Boom. When you open this up, the first thing you see is the literature right here. It's an instruction manual. Let's put that on the side for now. On top here, a little styrofoam. And then we get all the accessories, which is the vacuum right here. You also get four brushes. There you go. You also get this brush and then also a little blade there so that you can clean off a hair and dust from your uh, inside when you're cleaning out the vacuum. It also comes with a charging slash home dock. There you go. It also comes with an extra filter, power plug, little accessory box right here. Comes a module for mopping as well. A little module right here with the the padding right here that you can take off as well and replace with another one that they provided in the box. You know, when you're cleaning one and you're drying out the other one, you can place another one here. So this is what the Dinky D30 looks like. It has two buttons on top, the home to bring it home and also to turn it on right here. There's also the bumping front here, so it'll detect as well uh, for walls and obstruction in the way. On the bottom here is a little bit interesting. Most of the time I see one brush. It also comes with two brushes like so. It also comes with two more extra. When you're cleaning this out and you wanna swap them, you'll be able to swap them. Swivel 360 little wheel here. There's also a pretty big uh, gap here as well. Smaller wheels though than normal, but that's all right. This one has the brush right here, which you can clean up as well as this little part as well great for mopping and this brush right here is great for picking up dirt putting it back is real easy as well just like that and then just clips on like so now this back part is pretty interesting because it has two different functions so this one you can pull out like this right here the top part you can open up like so you can clean the filter by doing that putting it back is real easy as well like so this top part as well opens up to get rid of dirt. There you go. And then once you have that, you can also pull this out and then clean this out as well. Throw this in the wash and clean it out. There's also two options on that. If you want, if your floors are just a carpet, then you can just use the dustbin uh, style where it doesn't have the mop. There's also the mop version right here where it has the water tank and also the dustbin. So this is a little bit easier to use. This has the little water tank here where you can fill up the water. Um, it also says up to 400 milliliters as well. So this is the mopping pad. This is uh, attached by Velcro and it came with two of these pads which you can attach pretty easy on here like so. Just press it down, there you go, and then you just place this in here, and that's it. And if you want to get rid of it, all you need to do is just click this back part and pull that off. If you want to take off the dirt, you'll need to just get rid of it from here. Let's fill it up with water now and let's get mopping. Next stop, we need to control the vacuum, therefore we need to install the app. It's called the Dean Key app. Once we're ready, we're going to go ahead and sign up a new account for ourselves and then we're going to add a new device. Once you plugged in and turned on the D30, it should detect it on the app like so. Now we're going to add it on our Wi-Fi as well. Make sure you're using a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi or else it won't work. Now that we are all set up, let's go ahead and start cleaning. I like how the app looks. It's very simple and you're not going to get lost when you're using this. As you can see, it'll start to map out where it's cleaning. There are also different cleaning modes, which is random, edge, spiral, room, auto, and manual mode. Most of the time, I just use the auto mode. It really does a good job doing it. You can also send it home by 
clicking the charge go. You can also schedule the vacuum so that it'll clean on certain times of the day that you want. There's also, you can see the cleaning records here. You can also seek the robot. It'll make a noise and it'll go and let you know where it is by making a sound. You can also change the suction to low, medium, or high, and also the water control to low, medium, high. Most of the time, I would just use the low for the water control. I think that's good enough for me. There's also the deep clean mode and also the mute mode, so it won't make that beeping noise. At this point, as you could see, it is doing a good job mapping out where it's going and if it's missing some parts, some missing uh, flooring. Most of the time, it's actually doing a good job um, just going through the parallel lines so that it's not actually missing anything. Now I'm throwing some breadcrumbs here, some big, some small, and let's see what the vacuum does. As you could see, it does actually do a good job cleaning out the crumbs from the floor no matter how big it is so that I'm pretty impressed on what it was able to do there now let's do some carpet cleaning and as you could see it upstairs it was able to detect the edge there and it didn't fall off at all so if you're scared that the dinky d30 will detect edges she could see it was able to do it no problem at all and there it is again very nice on the carpet as well i swapped out the back bin so it's only for carpet slash vacuuming mode only which is really good um, it is able to detect it automatically you just need to change the bins and that's all you need to do and as you could see here I can demonstrate now for you guys that it is going to do a parallel cleaning as well. So you can see it better on the carpet. Overall, I'm pretty impressed on the Dinky D30 because it's able to detect walls. It's not just bumping into walls or doors or anything like that. If it's something smaller like a mat, it won't really detect that. It'll just go over it if it's able to do that. If it's not, it's going to try its best to go around it, which is really good as well. And that's it for today everyone, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new robot vacuum slash mop as well. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below, so go ahead and check that out. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.